Bye, guys. So today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about Vanderpump Rules Season 6, Attention Seekers. Now, if you're familiar with the show, then you know exactly who I'm talking about. You'll know the two most neediest, attention-seeking people on the show. And in my opinion, that's Jax Taylor and Sheena Marie. These two are screaming for attention. Like, they'll do anything to get attention. Stand on their head, do backflips, whatever they have to do to get attention. And they're in a race with each other. Like, each one week, one does something more dumb than the other. Like, you're not going to out-attention me, people. I'm going to do whatever it is I have to do to get attention. So, okay, so I didn't even want to do this damn video because, you know, you don't give spoiled children what they want. But I had to. I was forced. I was forced to do the video because they're just getting out of hand. Both of them. And none, one isn't better than the other. Let's just start with Sheena, the most ridiculous one of this week. I mean, it's so ridiculous that I'm getting mad talking about it. Let me say it fast so I can just get it out the way. Okay, so... We all know Sheena made a damn fool of herself this season by leeching onto her boyfriend, Rob Valletta, who has since broken up with her. He had to because the poor girl will not let him come up for air. I mean, she was just smothering him, okay? It, it was hard to watch. It was hard to watch. It was like someone committing. It was just hard to watch. I mean, and I'm sure she she's since the season has wrapped and she's gone, gone back and seen some of the episodes, I'm sure she just felt like a damn fool. I mean, I would. I mean, but, you know, maybe not. Sheena's d different than the rest of us. Very different, okay? So, she gave an interview two days ago in which they brought up the whole Rob situation. I'm going to call it Rob Gate. Like, she made me hate Rob. She talked about him so much. So, they brought up Rob Gate, and they were like, you know, why were you so obsessed with this relationship? <laughs> Now, this is the teach attention-seeking part, people. Have a seat. This is the attention-seeking part. She blamed her behavior on weed. <laughs> I'm going to repeat that just in case you didn't hear. She uh, blamed her behavior on weed. She said she was high. She was smoking a lot of weed. And this is why she was acting the way she was acting. See why I say she wants attention, people? We got to give it to her. Or she's just going to get worse just to get it. Let's just give her attention. I mean, weed? What? What the hell are you talking about? What kind? Now, I know they just legalized weed in Vegas. I don't know where you live, but it's like everywhere. It's every you can go everywhere. They have weed. And they have all different kinds, you know, different names. Now, I'm not into weed, so I can't tell you the different kinds. But I never heard of the kind that makes you needy and dumb. I, I haven't heard of that kind, but I guess they have a new kind that makes you extremely needy, and Sheena's just smoking the daylights out of it. <laughs> she won't stop it, smoking the needy weed. <laughs> and so this is what made her make a damn fool out of herself this season. <laughs> That's what she's blaming it on, people. That's what she's blaming it on. So forget the fact that she wants to rush to get married. That has nothing to do with her behavior. Forget the fact that she wants to trap Rob because he makes a lot of money and can provide her a stable life. Forget the fact that she doesn't want to be alone. Those are all an enigma, an enigma of our imagination, people. Because the real problem was the weed. <laughs> It was the weed, people. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. You know, wh whatever, Sheena. You know, I hope you stop smoking weed. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you don't, you're going to keep embarrassing yourself. But I'm moving past this nonsense. I'm just only reporting this so you guys know what's going on. Let's get to the bigger attention seeker. That's that damn Jax Taylor. Or who, how he likes to refer to himself as Jason the Nutjob. <laughs> That's what he calls himself at night. I am Jason the nut job. I need to get back to being Jason. You do? Okay. Remember, she he tried to make us buy that nonsense this season, how he just wants to be Jason again, when Jason was even worse than Jax. 
Okay. So if you watch this week's episode, you'll know for no reason at all, but for attention, Jax decides for no reason at all to break up with Brittany. <laughs> he wasn't getting enough attention because remember he stayed back at the apartment while everyone else went to the party and he, he wasn't going to be all done. I need attention. So he waited for her to come home and he decides, you know what, Brittany, this relationship isn't working out for me. I think we need to go our separate ways. Yeah, attention people. Attention, attention, attention. That's what he wants. He broke up with the only woman that gives will give him a, more than two weeks of her time. You know, no one puts up with Jax except for Brittany, and he decides to break up with her. Of course this is a false alarm, people. And of course they're still together. That's why I have to assume the only reason he broke up with her after he cheated. Now let's, let's just remind ourselves. He cheated on her, and he couldn't take it anymore, so he broke up with her. Ugh. Okay, okay, Jax. But this was just another attempt for attention because you all know they are happily still together and rumored to be getting engaged. Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. I think Brittany needs a spinoff. She needs a spinoff where she goes talks to a therapist. <laughs> Uh, specifically, why do you stay with Jax? This is insane, people. This is insane. I don't like reporting this insanity or talking about this nonsense, but I had to. So there you go. That's what's going on this week with the attention seekers. It's my opinion that I don't know who's worse, Jax or that damn Sheena. Let me know in the comment section. Do you agree with me? Are these two attention seekers? And if so, which one would you say is worse? than the other. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye.